Hello ladies and gentlemen, here's another one of my follow-up videos. So I just received my Alienware Alpha back again, i7 model. If you haven't followed my previous videos, um, I had to send it in for repair. This is the second time I send it in to Dell for warranty work um, due to it not booting past the Alienware logo. So I just received it back, uh, just unpacked it and it came with a uh, new Windows 8 installation um, and also have a paperwork saying what they've replaced. According to Dell, they replaced the motherboard and the hard drive, um, both which I doubt was the issue because I highly uh, believe that it's the BIOS. Now it's plugged in, uh, let's turn it on. Okay, it's starting up. Okay, Alienware logo. Alienware logo. Oh, something's coming up. Okay, there's a spinning wheel. Okay, there it is. It looks like it loaded up. And right now it's at the setup screen. I'm not going to go through the whole setup screen since I already have a another drive, an S SSD that has my Windows. Um, installation and files in there already so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in I'm going to reinstall my Samsung uh, SSD back into my Alpha I always had this installed since the first time I bought it I always took the old hard drive out and just put it you know, stored it away so I'm not sure why do you think always think the hard drive is this bad Okay, I got my SSD reinstalled. I pulled the 2 gigabyte uh, hard drive out of there. Um, they claimed they replaced it, but I forgot to put an indication on it to make sure it's not, they actually replaced it and it's not the same one. But uh, my SSD is back in there. The thing with my SSD is um, it has an old installation of Windows that I've been using for years. Um, it's actually pulled from my old computer, um, a five-year-old, you know, five, six-year-old Core 2 Duo, Core 2 Quad uh, computer. So this SSD is still was still formatted. Um, I'll say uh, formatted under the old legacy uh, MBR type boot uh, setup instead of the new UFF UEFI. So. The case with this uh, you, um, change, I'll have to get into the, the BIOS to set it up. Um, so I'm going to go into the BIOS. Uh-oh, you see this? This is what you get uh, since this is an old legacy uh, setup. It says no boot device available. So I have to go into the boot menu. So I'm going to click F2. Okay, now I'm in the BIOS. And the only thing I'm gonna change is I'm going to I'm going to change the boot mode from UEFI to legacy. And it says this device drivers. Samsung SSC said boot order. That is correct. I'm going to now save and reboot. So that's all I changed. Yes. Oh, that went to, through the uh, alpha screen pretty quickly. Now it looks like it's starting Windows like normal. Good to see it come back. Right, there it goes. It looks like it booted up. I'm gonna restart and see if it. I'm going to restart and see if it would um, still work.
Okay, this is the second time. Okay, I booted up pretty quickly. Okay, it looks like it's working. Um, it's going to be a countdown now to see how long it fails again. All right, my computer's back up and running. That is good news. I still believe there's a BIOS issue. So luckily, a uh, kind viewer was uh, kind enough to post up some instructions on how to reset the BIOS um, when when you, with it disassembled. So he was able to reset the BIOS and back to stock and reload all of the Windows uh, software in there and it was able to run. That is good news. So thank you for him for posting this up. Um, so when my fail again, I will definitely try that method. And whoever you know have this issue, maybe you could try it out. I will continue to keep everyone posted and use this as a log to you know help others fix their issues. And ho also hopefully you know Dell will recognize this this issue with the BIOS and and provide a fix for it. So until next time, uh, thanks for watching again. Uh, feel free to leave some feedback and uh, or questions below. Well, thanks again. Bye.